Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, Presiding Officer, most honored dignitaries, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today's Pathways Learning Lab is entitled Pathways Learning, Celebrating Growth. Our mission story and tonight's plan. Wow, that's a mouthful, but we have a mouthful tonight. First of all, I want to go through our tagline just a little bit for those of you that may not have been here with us or just reiterate it for those that have of helping Toastmasters members one at a time. And how that led us to the Pathways Learning Center concept. Tonight is going to be the final Pathways Learning Lab this year, if I can keep from tearing up as I say that. It is about celebrating member pathways growth this past year that's going to be the primary aspect of what we do tonight, this is really truly a celebration you've had a chance to hear from me and now I want to hear from you and we all want to hear from you. We're also going to briefly talk about the next steps. The actual event format i'm going to provide a little bit of introductory material on what we just talked about regarding the pathways learning Center motto the concept. Then the big part of our meeting is going to be some pre scheduled member sharing for one to two minutes it's a real honor to have these folks share with us today. As well, they're going to be speaking on the topic of personal growth, as well as maybe how they helped others. And then finally we're going to head into the closing area with some open and sharing from those of you that might want to share that didn't express anything in advance. Uh, certainly you did provide commentary in advance. I'm going to quickly read off some of that. Then we'll answer some questions that came in in advance. There are a few, so we'll try and fly through those and see if you have any more questions. And finally, some closing comments. The Pathways Learning Center motto, again, is helping Toastmasters members one at a time. Now, this idea came about, well, first of all, I think just simply in practice and noticing, in fact, what we were trying to do and it sort of came up in a conversation about statistics of how many you know what percentage of pathways adoption was taking place for various metrics and i found myself to be honest feeling a little bit cold by those metrics and i couldn't quite my put my finger on it and then it just hit me this tagline helping toastmasters members one at a time and i thought to myself that's what we need to do and i think the metrics will take care of themselves and thankfully we've really up those metrics. There's always more to improve, but I think that is a great guiding philosophy for us. The Pathways Learning Center webpage concept resulting from this philosophy, shall we say, is first and foremost, we try to cure overload by providing only material from the 80-20 principle. In other words, we really only provide 20% of tasks that provide 80% of value within pathways and we leave out the rest. This came out of myself feeling overloaded when I first learned listening to others that also felt overloaded and that's what really drives us in this passion of the 80 20 and I think it makes our district different than any other district in the world. The next concept is to promote clarity and avoid confusion we do this through providing a one stop education resource for all of your beginning, intermediate, and advanced level pathways needs. In other words, another source of frustration is, I need to go to this link and Google it, or you know, all these different things that can be suggested. But the problem is, we lose consistency of our terminology and even of where to go for help. So what we've worked incredibly hard to do at the Pathways Learning Center is, in fact, to make it that one-stop education resource for those reasons. And then finally, we must keep in mind the member motivation. I don't know if any of you have been guilty of this. I've done it myself. I'm a little ashamed to say, but I need to keep in mind that not every Toastmaster learns in the same way. In other words, someone expresses a problem. Oh, let me correct it. But we forgot to give empathy and listen first. My experience is every time that correction comes before the empathy does, it never works. So that's really a statement that really helps me. I just think to myself, not every Toastmaster's not every Toastmaster learns in the same way. We're now going to dive into or shortly the pre scheduled member sharing. They're going to be discussing the, either their personal growth in pathways this year or helping others. They're going to get one to two minutes each. 
we will have a total of eight pre-scheduled member contributions. We're going to dive in. Our first member, be ready to offer some applause right out of the gate. We have Sharice Billington. Let's give her a hand. I Thank, want to you. Touch Thank you so much, everyone. Good evening. And I am a new Toastmaster. So I joined last year in November. And I started right off the bat in December with my mind looking like this, right? <laughs> and, I, and this was right before my icebreaker. So I was frantically searching the internet and I found the D7 webpage with the Pathways Learning Center. And I was able to get into a learning lab right off. And I've been with it ever since December. And it has been so amazing. I'm on my last project and uh, Mr. Dave Bones has been helping me with evaluation and feedback. And let me tell you, I have been a person who needed to read notes. I have not done that for the last two speeches that I've given, and they have been so wonderful and the experience has been amazing. So I went from this <laughs> to a more streamlined way because of these programs. So I am so thankful for all of the learning opportunities and I really couldn't have completed level one without all of you guys and my home club. So thank you so much to everyone here tonight and back to you, Dave. My goodness, thank you, Sharice. This is gonna hard, be hard for me not to tear up for like everybody. So pardon me while I put on my game face and I'm very touched by what you shared, thank you. Okay. Our next member is Joan Miller. Her education status is Leadership Development Level 4, Presentation Mastery Level 2. Let's give her a hand. Hi, everyone. I don't see myself, but oh, there I am. Okay. When I first started Toastmat or Pathways, it was so confusing to me. And it was hard to figure out how to access a path and then complete it. Thank goodness for Dave, because Dave walked me through step by step. So I was able to do that. And if, and if, if and when I got stuck and get stuck still, I go into the Pathways Learning Center and it helps me out so much. It's just really it's right there in front of me with everything that I need. I've also, I've all, I also recommend the, the Pathways Learning, the Learning, I recommend the Learning Labs and the Pathways Learning Center to anybody that comes into the club or to anybody who I talk to that seems to get stuck like this is really help me this is what you need without saying let me do it for you it's you need to this is something that will really help you so giving the example because of Dave's coaching I was able to mentor a brand new member through the pathway system and he is now our VP of PR thank you Dave pretty awesome. I've also been working with a woman who's struggling with computers. She's an elderly woman. She struggles with computers and I am not computer savvy at all in, in any way, shape or form. But again, with Dave's help, he helped me and help my friend go step by step just to get exactly what she needed. And it, and it all worked out for so great. I was really, really happy to find out that I didn't have to, to stay religiously on a path. I could skip around a little bit. So it worked best for me and for the club. Well, especially for me, because, you know, hey, we're, we're talking about ourselves, right? Our, our own personal growth. The learning labs were pivotal, pivotal in helping me understand, navigate the, the pathways and how to navigate and how to figure out what past path would be best for me. Again, with knowing now I could skip around, it was like, okay, this is working. This is really great. I don't have to be so confined because I'm not one that sticks to a straight path very oh, path, huh? very easily. I, I need to uh, fall, then skip, then run, then do whatever and still make it work for, for the better, my, my own growth. So it's, it's been great. Also the breakout rooms when we had the learning labs were so wonderful, so instrumental in in helping share ideas and learning from one another. I, the learning labs were great, are great, will be great, always great. <laughs> I'm just, I'm encouraging you, Dave, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Back to you, Dave. My goodness. Thank you so much, Joe. You might just see tears running down my face by the end of this. I'm really working hard to keep my game face. <laughs> Thank you. Don't keep your game face. Let it go. <laughs> Don't say that, Joan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Our next member is Paul Spangler, Persuasive Influence Level 2. Let's give a hand to Paul. Thanks, Dave. I'm a relatively new member to Toastmasters. I joined in November 2020. And I have to say, the Pathways was a really great way to organize myself as I was a new member, trying to figure out what in the world I was going to talk about during the speeches when I needed to give them. I like the Persuasive Influence Pathway. I had a career pivot right when COVID started. And my job is a little bit more salesy, let's say. Now, and one of the things that I found really interesting about the persuasive influence pathway was that there is an active listening portion of it. And you're thinking to yourself, if I'm going to try to persuade and influence something, somebody, I should really be able to be talking most of the time. I mean, this is Toastmasters, but active listening is so important and influencing because if you're not listening to someone and understanding their problems and what they're saying, it's impossible for the most part for you to influence someone. You have to know about them. You have to care about what they're talking about. So Toastmasters, especially on the evaluation portion of it, which is another part of the persuasive influence pathway, really got me to open my ears. And rather than think about what I was going to say, really pause, take a moment and listen to what other folks were going to say. I found that incredibly valuable and the fact that it came up multiple times in the pathway helped me reframe what the way that I thought about persuasive influence. I also have to focus on my own speaking skills and it helped me through that as well. I'm only halfway through looking forward to completing the rest of the pathway, but so far that's been really valuable and I really appreciate the way that the pathways are organized, keep me on track so when I do have a speech, I know exactly what's coming up next and what I have to work on. Excellent. Thank you, Paul. Big hand for Paul. Very much. Very much appreciate that, Paul. Our next member, David Sheehorn. Now, you need to wait while I read all of these off. He has done a lot of Pathways work. And believe it or not, there's even more that we haven't processed in Club Central. Innovative Planning Level 5. Engaging Humor Level 5, Leadership Development Level 5, Presentation Mastery Level 4. We have Team Collaboration Level 3. I suspect even more. Let's give a hand to David Sheehorn. Thank you, Dave and fellow Toastmasters. I was a Pathways Guide in 2017 when they rolled it out to the, to the clubs in our district. I was also a Pathways Ambassador, but a Pathways Guide had the responsibility of going around to eight clubs and giving 18 presentations online. And I did that, and I enjoyed it. it. It actually built me up because I was a little bit frustrated with the old manual type things, and I'm a computer guy. I've been doing computer programming since 1961, so I've been around a while. But I, I've been a Toastmaster for just 10 years, but what I got excited about with Pathways is the variety of opportunities you have to improve yourself. They're, all the paths are similar and, well, they're the, pretty much the same in level one. Level two starts putting some variety in it, but it doesn't give you any uh, electives. And then, then comes level three. Then you start getting to design your own path your own speeches, your own progress. And I've worked with Dave to put together some of the pieces of Pathways uh, in, in the Pathways Learning Center. And uh, I have le learned from the way he organizes things, and it has helped me. The things that I particularly liked about the way he organizes it is he gets the important stuff out first. You know, the Navigator PDF. Uh, it's, it's the reference document before you get too involved in Toastmasters and Pathways. Then the simple meeting roles explanation gets you started. The level one icebreaker, bam, right there. It's, it gives you so much information. 
uh, the Toastmasters level one, I walk every one of my new members through getting started with that, that first project, uh, you know, the icebreaker. Uh, I've been VP education for, I think this is my fifth year in a row, but I, I really like that role. Uh, uh, I haven't uh, found anything else that I like to do more. One of the things that I like about the way Dave has organized things is the Pathways Pass and Projects catalog is central, and you can take a look at that, and you can find an expanse of all the things that Pathways can do for you, and you can plan ahead which projects are you going to pick up at which, at which levels. And then that visual explanation of Pathways that's on the Pathways Learning Center gives you an image that I keep going back to that document. Uh, I've referenced it for you know, three or four years, uh, but he put it together in such a way that it, it makes even more sense now. And I, I use that as my reference for when I'm planning what I'm going to do next. The Pathways Differentiation by Required Projects is a, is a clever piece of, of work that helps you understand and plan your next path. The first path should always be something you're comfortable with. The next path should be your stretch. And I encourage everybody to pick that next path. Stretch. Go someplace you haven't been before. Find a new pathway. What a concept. Then the Toastmasters member and VPE pathway search tracking log, speech tracking log, is something that I have used uh, for several years. And it, it helps anybody who's a VPE or or a base camp manager, which is the club president and the club secretary. It helps them find out wh who has completed what. And just yesterday, Dave Bones helped me figure out that I had uh, completed levels that had never been logged at Club Central. You know, I, I had, I've, I've finished four paths. I have two more that I'll finish by Ju July the 1st. Uh, but not all of them have been logged correctly because I wasn't tracking them as close as I should have. And so that's where the, um, the, the tracking log comes in. Um, and then there's also the Pathways Mentor Program, which I am totally convinced is worth the cost of Toastmasters. By itself, it helps you become a better member, a better community person, helping others. And then it also teaches you very subtly, it teaches you project management, project management skills. It, everybody has an opportunity to learn that because you have to organize, you have to plan, you have to complete various portions of the uh, Pathways Mentoring Program tracking logs. And before you know it, you can become a, a, a Pathways Mentor just by helping somebody get started. I call that the buddy get that one one project done that icebreaker get the first level done that's a coach and then get that the, the the six month plan which is part of mentoring get that done and then you are a pathways mentor and i think we have almost 20 pathways mentors in district seven now back to you mr toastmaster and presenter thank you big hand for david shehorn i concur and you're passion is evident and i certainly appreciate your teamwork this past year uh, as zoom master as well as late night conversations or emailing about documents that could fit in well at the pathways learning center and i would not be fulfilling my responsibility if i could just clarify one thing uh, david mentioned some terminology about the pathways mentor program he has a system which i think is phenomenal it's not part of ti but it's this idea of the buddy coach mentor and i would encourage you to reach out to david if you want to know more about that but thank you for that innovation david and uh, one more hand for david shehorn i i would also like to give credit to suzanne loeb because the, the two of us combined developed the buddy coach mentor concept 100 percent. thank, or thank District you Seven. yeah thank you david our next member is stefana johnson Dynamic Leadership Level 5, Presentation Mastery Level 3, as well as our PR Manager in D7. Let's give her a hand. 
Well, I've been super inspired by what I'm listening to here and watching. And I just want to give a shout out to my fellow club member, David, because I'm here because of him. And he's completely inspired me. Have I done as many levels? No, but his goal to do all of the pathways, uh, I'm right there. I'm like, okay, I might do, I'll go for five, but he's like going to do all of them. So exciting. My, my success with pathways is an interesting path because I have a very, or I had a very fixed mindset when it came to Toastmasters. And so I was expecting, and the first time I came back to a meeting or was, I had all my uh, club manuals and this was a year and a half ago, I think. And, and it was online. Well, how am I going to do this? I just have to complete these. And, and then I found out that that was no longer in existence. And so what happened at first was, okay, I'll just embrace this and I'll just do it. And just going into it the first time through, I really was doing it more of a checklist, check off, check off, check off, check off. And by the time I got into the second level and starting to understand what this was about, and then like David was saying with the third one where you get to create your own and there's electives and there's really fun electives, like creating a blog and a podcast and doing PR thing, get your social media account. Like, wow, this is, this is amazing. What's, what's this about? And you get to just kind of play around with it. It was discovering something that was exciting and made me feel like a brand, just a whole new world had opened up to me. And I think that that is probably my favorite piece about this is that it is a whole new world when you embrace it. And it's not the same old. So every level one, you have to do an icebreaker. Well, guess what? How many stories does an individual have? We have unlimited. So just because we've done an icebreaker doesn't mean we, well, that's our icebreaker. It's like, there's so many levels that we can go deep within ourselves. And as I shifted from this very fixed mindset to a growth mindset, which I want to uh, give a shout out to Dave because he has been completely support you, Dave. I'm looking straight at you. <laughs> I, I just want to say your steadfast support of the pathways and really your enthusiasm is so lovely. It is really inspiring. And I, it's, it's just, you should be crying right now because we're, I'm thinking we're pouring into you love and appreciation and celebration of you, 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 because you've done so much work. I can't even imagine all the work you've put in. I, I just, I'm so grateful to be the recipient and I'm, excited about all the people who have benefited as a result of all the hard work you've done. It's, it's invaluable. It's priceless. It's just, wow. All I can say is thank you so much. Um, the pay, oh, I wanted to say your patience, you are so patient and it's, it's amazing how patient you have been through everyone's troubles and trials and tribulations as we go through this and learn this you've just been there steadfast and i love how you do it one member at a time oh my gosh thank you so much my heart is so full because of what you do thank you thank you thank you thank you stefana you are going to make those things those uh, tears start running again <laughs> thank you thank you oh my goodness this is great though i wouldn't have it any other way our next member is Suzanne Loeb, Distinguished Toastmaster and Division G Director in our district. Let's give her a hand. From the Pathways program, I learned about leadership. First, I realized that acknowledging people is the essential thing that I can do as a leader. We know that people look to their leaders for guidance, for reassurance, that we're taking them down the right path. But leaders are also role models. Follower, followers learn to be leaders from us. However, more than reassurance, guidance, and role models, people want to be recognized and thanked for their efforts. 
being significant is what keeps people engaged. Now let's get specific. We all know leaders who value the administrative part of their jobs because completing tasks is infinitely easier than learning and talking with individuals. Some leaders believe that a one size all thanks is just enough. It's good enough. They think that it's, a, it's another task that got checked off their list. There are those who say, I am the leader, do what I say, without any thought about their leaders and their needs. These leaders treat their employees, members, followers like one disposable mass and blame someone else or something else when those followers, employees go somewhere else. People crave recognition for their efforts. For instance, I have cherished and kept every handwritten note I receive from Lori Anderson. Thank you, Lori, you get it. Unfortunately, when people don't get what they need, they go somewhere else, even away from great organizations like Toastmasters. So what can we do about this? Tragic exodus of talented individuals who could make a difference as tomorrow's leaders? Well, from the leaders in this district and from Pathways, I learned that the most important thing I can do is to recognize the people who are following me, the people that I influence, the people who can make a difference. And I can thank them when they make a contribution. And they will when they are seen as significant. Thank you, David. Wow, thank you, Suzanne. You have developed as a leader. I am very interested in what you have to say. Those are words of wisdom. And if you don't mind, I'm actually gonna borrow part of your explanation about you have those leaders that have that deep appreciation for the administrative checklists. <laughs> that is so positive. I love that. Thank you, Suzanne. That is great. And I know it's sincere the way you describe it. That's what makes it even better. Our next member is Bob Hall, distinguished Toastmaster, our webmaster, among many other talents. Let's give Bob a hand. Hey, thank you very much, David. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity to, to talk about this. Amongst this distinguished group of Toastmasters, whether you're, you're a DTM or not, you're all distinguished Toastmasters. Uh, Suzanne, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> um, so I joined Toastmasters in 2015. We've got a group of people beginning Toastmasters. Uh, we got David has been doing it since 1963 or something ridiculous like that. I don't know. Um, so far, I've only finished three paths, dynamic leadership, engaging humor, and persuasive influence. And I got something different out of every single one of those, even though there's a lot of repetition in there, there's a different focus there. And I chose them for a reason, because I wanted to develop in those areas. I was not a very persuasive person. I was scared. I'm going to take on persuasive influence. That means I got to give persuasive speeches and persuade people. Okay. En engaging humor. Well, I was always a bit of a jokester. I took that one on because it was easy. <laughs> so I could crack some jokes and that helped to loosen me up a little bit. Um, I'm two speeches away from effective coaching, completing that. And I've also picked up pre presentation mastery. I haven't started it yet, but that's going to be my focus this year. I, I volunteered to be the VP of public relations for PR masters, which is like double, triple whammy there, following in the size 17 shoes of Marin. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be drinking from a fire hose here. So presentation mastery is, is where my focus is going to be this year. Um, I seem to finish a path every year. How do I do that? Well, 
what, every month I volunteer to give a speech. It's 12 speeches. Somebody usually doesn't show up. I volunteered to give a speech. I fill in the cracks. Uh, I've given speeches at contests as target speaker, um, being prepared to do things like the webmaster, TLI, it's given me opportunities to give speeches, and you can get credit for doing this sort of thing. So you can easily do a path a year in, you know, if you're engaged in, in, in Toastmasters. So this year, I'm going to be delving into things like social media, podcasting, public relations. Look out, Stefan, I'm going to be picking your brain. <laughs> Promotional tools like Canva and just working my way through the presentation mastery path. My goal at the end of the decade is to finish all of the paths. Okay. I don't know how many, how many, I got like seven to go. And there's like five or six, six, six or seven years ago. Yeah, it's possible. Theoretically, it's possible to do it. Okay, it's a stretch goal. All right. Bones, Dave Bones, you've been an inspiration to me. I've watched you practice what you preach in the Pathways Learning Labs. I was fortunate to be the Zoom master for the Advanced Pathways session at uh tli and in addition to doing that i was you know absorbing uh, what you were getting seeing the feedback that you got you got some terrific feedback i'm privy to this from the service that we put out you got it okay you're right on people really appreciated it uh, whatever it is you're doing keep doing it i uh, appreciate the careful methodical approach you have to answering every question even before they're asked spot on uh, metaphors. I love that metaphor, Cherise, that you used at the beginning. You got like a ball of steel wool and you got this ball of yarn. You know, you're going to build a tapestry out of this. I love that metaphor. Pathways is a metaphor for a journey. It's a metaphor for a journey into a new life that's enriched by developing our communication and leadership skills, the leadership skills that Suzanne was talking about developing those skills but it's impossible to learn from pathways if you can't find the door handle mm -hmm. to get into the building <laughs> dave what you've done in essence is created a pathway into pathways mm -hmm. you're a master locksmith you can open any door into, into the pathways world and you created a textbook for doing it that you use to teach others how to be locksmiths, the Pathways Learning Center. Thank you, Dave. Whew, I'm fired up. Who is this Dave Bones? I want to meet this guy. Oh, okay. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> wow, I love that. The locksmith and the path to pathways. I love that. Thank you, Bob. That is excellent food for thought and very much appreciate your feedback for myself and for all of us. Our next member, and by the way, if you are wanting to speak, we are going to have time for you in a moment. It's going to be a little shorter than the one to two minutes, but I just wanted to honor the people that submitted some information in advance. We have our final participant, Laurie Anderson, distinguished Toastmaster. She is our current program quality director and our district director elect. Let's give Lori a hand. Thank you, David. That was a nice introduction. I just listened to everyone here and it's just so awesome listening to everybody. I wrote down things that everybody, that people said. So Dave, you are the matrix key maker. So yay for you. And David Shehorn, you are the one that completes everything. You've done, you know, the blackout in bingo, and you've done all. Your... <laughs> I love it. And so you are an inspiration. Everyone is an inspiration to me. So I really appreciate that. When the Pathways training came out, what was it, 2016 or 17? I was involved with the legacy program halfway through my second DTM. 
I was convinced I had to finish this DTM because I had put so much work into it. Okay, it took me five years to do my first one and only seven years to do my second, but I didn't give up. And I think that's the main thing that we need to do is just be persistent and keep going. So before the COVID hit, 2019, almost 2020, I was looking at my work and I thought, I'm just not gonna make it. I've got so much to do. <clears throat> In fact, I thought I had four books and I really had six. What am I gonna do? I've got all this work to do. And Miss Emily Taylor, my district director at the time, she said, Lori, you can do it. So I just put on my roller skates and I just started going for it to finish my DTM. Then in 2021, last year, when there was no more legacy program, I had just chartered a club in Division F. So here I was with 19 new members that didn't know Pathways and myself, who didn't remember what I had learned several years ago. So what did I do? I got on to the Pathways Learning Center. And I was so inspired by the way Dave put his material together that I told him that, hey, I wanna start teaching with you. So I looked at the clubs that had people that needed to learn Pathways. And I contacted them and I said, hey, do you need any help with your to learning? And I got a good response. I talked to people one-on-one, -on -one, I went to clubs and I'm still following up with people. So I think the, the main thing is, you know, about all of that was really one-on-one -on -one with people and meeting them right where they are. Some people say, hey, that I contacted, one woman just wanted to know that she was doing the right thing. She was on pathways like level four, and she just wanted to make sure she was she was headed in the right direction. And some people didn't know it at all. So you know, everyone's got a different thing that they're that they're working on. But I was just very thankful, Dave, that I could go through your Pathways Learning Center and say, you know, just that very first page. You know, here's the Pathways Mentor thing. You know, here's the icebreaker. Uh, here's the that one thing, I forget the name of it now, you know, I'm speaking so fast, but it was all out there. And so all you had to do is just, hey, if you've already gone through knowing how to figure out how to log on to TI International, you can just skip that part and go straight into the next part. So I really appreciate it. And I'm still using that very same thing in order to teach people today. So we have, I still have a lot of people and a lot of work to do at my club in Division F but we're getting there. And uh, so thanks to you and your Pathways Learning Center. Thanks, Dave. Big hand for Lori. Thank you so much, Lori. Wise words for us to listen to and learn from. Thank you. We're now gonna go into some open sharing. The same topic, if we could, uh, whether it be your own personal growth or maybe folks that you've helped. And I'm going to ask just so we can stay within time budget to keep it within 30 to 90 seconds. If you ended up even less than that, that would be OK. Uh, mainly, we've got a, a lot more material to go through, but I also want to leave some time for those that would like to jump in. And Lori, I wonder if you could assist me with knowing who's doing what. And we'll, we'll do this together. Who would like to, if anybody would like to, you don't have to, of course, we just, we're in the living room, we're all kind of talking together, just saying who else wants to share something. Uh, Lori, does Jim have his hand up? He does. Thank you. Oh, great. Jim, please. So there's the camera. <laughs> yes. I, I just wanted to share that on april 5th of this year rose city toasters was actually able to start meeting again that's a prison club and they have not been able to meet for two years in march we were worried we had five paid members of the club and so we're in in february we're march we're worried that we weren't going to be able to continue the club but we kept it going and then on april 5th we started meeting again 
and the person who took on the role, the inmate who took on the role of being vice president of education has done a tremendous job of organizing materials for the pathways program for all the members inside to be able to participate. The club today has 24 members and eight of those members have, actually it might be nine as of yesterday, have completed, yeah, I think it's nine, have completed all of the projects for level one in pathways starting April 5th. So in two months, they com eight, nine members completed level one. And one of the reasons they were able to do that was because they was able to use these resources that David had on the learning center and bring those in, give them some training. And, and uh, it was Carl, uh, Craig, Craig Cottle came in and, and helped us with giving them some training so they could organize that. Thank you so much, Jim. And I'm so fired up by the fact that that your members are so fired up. This is why we do this. I think the things that Toastmasters has to offer is exactly what we need to do to make the world even a better place. So I don't want to steal your thunder. Thank you, Jim, on that. And uh, Lori, does Karen have her hand up next? Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Uh, yes, she does. Thank you. Oh, great, Karen. Thank you, Lori. And thank you, Dave. The one thing I wanted to mention about Pathways that's been exceptionally helpful that hasn't been mentioned yet was that Dave did the Vice President of Education training last year. And in that, he showed how to go through and view the various reports in Club Central and logging in as base camp manager, finding the pending requests. But also, there was a Paths and Learning tab that you had to hover over to find out where exactly people were in their path. And it was incredibly helpful to find out that pathway because I was able to uncover two members who have done a number of speech projects and have completed those projects and have never been approved for those projects. And then I've also found a number of people who were also um, had completed levels and their net levels have never been approved. So I needed to learn to do that. And there, one of the things is I was following the directions that Dave had outlined. It wasn't following through. I was getting stuck on the paths and learning. And our club coach, David Shehorn, actually helped me find that I needed to hover over paths and learning rather than clicking on it. But once I found that little trick, I was able to really delve into what our members have been doing in Pathways. So I thank you for that, it, because in terms of personally navigating pathways, I found it rel relatively easy. And we've only had three new members this year. One actually took me up on sitting down and going step by step on navigating a path and doing your first path. But the other two members had a lot going on in their lives and dropped out after a few months. But what I have been doing for people who don't take me up on an offer to view a slideshow that I created about Pathways was that I'm able to send them links to several of the Pathways Learning Labs on the D7 page. So I've really appreciated having that at my fingertips. Thank you. Back to you, Lori or Dave. Thank you, or even Anne for that matter. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I very much appreciate your feedback and we need more people like you that have this skill to continue sharing it with others thank you so much laurie do we have another hand up yes we do eldred has his hand up eldred please thank you laurie i want to express especially my thanks to you dave and your team for all the work that you've done this year is our pathways looks like our chief pathways proponent this year the, the Pathways Learning Center, the Pathways Learning Labs, those have been instrumental to our district support of our Toastmasters education program, getting more people involved in Pathways and getting more people excited about Pathways. That has been a big, big boon for our district this year. And I 
really appreciate once again all the work that you and your team have done this year, Dave. Thank you, Eldred. Big hand for it. And Dave, I think you just. Oh, you don't uh, read lips, everybody? Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. For... I was trying to mute Eldred. <laughs> I got you instead. <laughs> I see. Well, you were testing our ability to read lips. I think that's a worthy cause. You did come for an educational experience, and that's part of it. Again, one more hand for Eldred, our district director. We are coming into the home stretch. We did get some sharing in advance. We need to just go through kind of a drive by here because there was a lot and I'm just so thrilled. I just need to read this very quickly if we could. So regarding the member sharing, some members may uh, gave comments about pathways and growth uh, for this past year, just more generally. In order, I never realized how powerful the D7 website is. So that's a plug to Bob too, because we're talking about not just Pathways Learning Center, but the entire website. I often go to it and recommend it to clubs and people struggling. Next, considering this past year, I would like to share my appreciation and gratitude for leadership growth. There's more. The question that was asked of these folks is, what would you like to share about your growth this year? First was, I would like to move on in my engaging humor pathway. Next, as VPE, I learned how to dig into the reports and determine the progress of each member. Next, achieve my second Pathways DTM. Oh my goodness, wow, amazing. Leadership generally, breakthrough alignment. That's an engaging description. I suspect that means really coming together and moving in, in one direction together. Speech structure and rhetoric tricks, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, rhetorical devices, I think, is what she's also saying. Member, officer, area director, Zoom lead. These are all things this person has done. Growing as a first time president of a club, that is exciting. And then finally, we had a lot of these, which is what do you want to accomplish in this coming year? Increase their club with a net growth of five members, do five open houses and more themed meetings. Next, improve speech writing and storytelling skills. Another person, this is not the same one, by the way, DTM number two, mastering public relations, making a foray into TED Talks. There's a word of the day for us, foray, as well as podcasting. Another person, DTM, and I can see a DTM mastermind coming together, folks in the audience here. We should be thinking about this. Jim as PQD elect, maybe we could talk about that if it might be interesting. Under your leadership, of course. Becoming a more competent speaker, competency generally. Become a club president. We need more leaders. Thank you for that. Increase club membership. Help to grow my club as I grow myself. Very wise statement to become a professional speaker. Wow, that's amazing. Be on my DTM path, another DTM, complete level five in all the paths you're working on. Club growth is, well, we have another DTM, club coach and speech craft. Big hand for all of our contributors, please. This is absolutely incredible and we're not done yet. There is more fellow Toastmasters. This is absolutely phenomenal. We did have some questions that came in in advance and I'm really gonna to have to give a drive by on these as well. And then we will open it up for you as well. But I wanna honor those questions that came in advance. I'm just gonna show these to you and then we will visit the Pathways Learning Center as needed for these. There are five questions, I believe. First question, is there any table or side-by-side -side comparison of level four and level five project requirements by the path rather than going into each path individually and looking? This would be useful to help members choose which path they'd like. As a matter of fact, at the Pathways Learning Center, there's a document that I created. It's called Path Differentiation by Required Projects. It's in the inter Intermediate Advanced Level Tools and Reference Materials section of the Pathways Learning Center. We're gonna do a quick visual of that in a moment. I think 
fastest thing we can do is do it all at once at the Pathways Learning Center. How do you go about seeking someone to mentor? This could be the entire webinar, but I guess I'm going to have to give you my quick answer. It's very much about word of mouth. Now, of course, in the Pathways Mentor Program, they talk about doing it within your club. But if you don't have that opportunity within your club, I would truly consider it a word of mouth opportunity. And maybe you can find someone that wants to know how to do what you know how to do. So for example, if you are very good at Excel spreadsheets, then that is a, a skill that you can bring to the table and how that can integrate with Toastmasters might be an example. So it's a, a match is what we're looking for. And don't be afraid to go outside the club, but in fact, let's find out how we can mutually benefit one another. Next question. I find it difficult to work out how a keynote speech works. Every time I do one, I've been told it's not a keynote structure. Well, the speaker that offered that, I first of all want to agree with you in the fact that it's not a very clear term. I did a little bit of research myself and looking up in the dictionary and trying to understand this a little bit more. But there are two possible aspects of a keynote structure that they might be referring to. First of all, the word keynote is a little ambiguous in my view, but what that means is focused on a particular central theme or keynote as, as they call it. In music, we have a key center. That's sort of the central key for, for music. That's what made me think of this. It's a, a centralized focus is perhaps what they're talking about. And then specifically what they might be referring to is the outline format of a given speech where perhaps it might delve into one direction or another, but they want that real that focus going in that particular direction. And I do want to recommend there's a level five pathways project. It's called prepare to speak professionally, which touches on this topic specifically and actually provides an outline to work with. Next question. I want to be a mentor. I'm on two of three helping someone on their first speech. And really what I want to say is, first of all, congratulations. That's awesome. And then secondly, if you or your uh, folks that you talk with would like to check out the brand new District 7 Pathways Mentor Program Comprehensive Tutorials at the Pathways Learning Center. I would strongly encourage that. It's um, It's got every single curriculum item and explains the basics of what you need. Then finally, DTM High Effort Project question mark. And I think what they were referring to probably is the DTM project. And at the Pathways Learning Center, we do in fact have two references that that we can quickly share. My goodness, here we go. <laughs> we get to do all this very quickly. If you've never been to the Pathways Learning Center, this is our District 7 website. It, I'll be giving a direct link in the chat, and hopefully you've been here before, but it's just d7toastmasters.org if you haven't been. Then you can click on Pathways Learning Center. This loads its own page. And I'm just going to have to quickly refer to some of these questions. So the first question was the, um, let's see, we've got all this stuff open here. Is there a side by side of the level four and five uh, projects for basically the, the required section of things. What I would want to direct you to is down here, as we mentioned, as we scroll down, the section here, it's called just about the middle of the website, Intermediate Advanced Level Tools and Reference Materials. We, we actually don't have time to go into all these questions. I do apologize. I hope that the verbal was at least helpful and you will have my email address, but at least for this one, I can quickly show you. It's right here. It's just called Path Differentiation by Required Projects. Um, regarding the DTM and DTM project, they're one on top of each other, Pathways DTM requirements, and then the project itself. This is brand new just a couple of days ago. I wanted to share that. And again, apologize if I could not be more detailed. We just simply don't have the time at the moment. But I do encourage you to follow up with me. 
And I just want to say some really quick personal words, if I could, to all of you. This past year has actually been a dream come true for me. I am so moved and grateful for the relationships that I've had a chance to form with you. It's my dream as an educator for over 25 years that I do think that when we become clear on things, when we're not confused, when we're motivated, combine that with what Toastmasters has to offer, I think we truly make the world a better place. And you let me know that this is in fact possible. You demonstrate it for me in front of my eyes. And I just want to also say thank you for the opportunity to our district leadership for giving me this way to, in fact, contribute in this way. I have never committed in such a way that I can literally say I've left nothing on the table. There's nothing I could have contributed more. In other words, what you get is the best I could offer, and I hope it was some value. And again, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you. And I want to give anybody the opportunity, if anybody has a question or follow up on that, we are very short on time, but I don't want to just put out that statement and sort of move on. Uh, if anybody wants to share anything, they're welcome, or we'll simply go to the closing uh, section. Perhaps in the interest of time, I guess we will probably just move on, but I, I'm very grateful. You're, you're not going anywhere. We got you for the next three years, okay? All right. <laughs> Dave, David Sheehorn has his hand raised. Oh, David, please. Despite being a professional musician, Dave Bones does not toot his own horn. Let's all toot and say thank you, Dave. Toot, 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 toot. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Awesome job. Well, that is lucky to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm very moved by that. And again, I do have my game face. I'll probably tear up on my own. I won't put you all through that. Regarding the upcoming vision for our district, we are discussing this as an incoming trio. We're discussing the idea of the Pathways Learning Center curriculum in a training format for teachers, leaders, members. And again, it's sort of coming together, in fact, what that's going to look like. In the meantime, I just want to say that you, of course, have the Pathways Learning Center. I hope that it's been useful and please do continue to use it. You can contact me anytime. As a matter of fact, Saturday, I'm going to be helping with someone uh, that has some questions. And there is a rumor informally that upcoming, I might just throw it on the calendar for anybody that might want to do it. Uh, and, and I hope this isn't too stressful for my fellow TRIA members, but this is an informal thing. I promise I'm going to be putting my energy into club growth as well. It's just called Pathways Learning Center, Streamline Pathways for New Members. I cannot help myself, but I identified one last fundamental issue that I just cannot resist sharing with you. And if there are three people there, then we'll all have a good time. We'll talk and we'll uh, get a chance to go through that. I just want to say thank you so much for attending on a personal level. And you can see that I created that little section there about the Pathways Learning Center. And I just can't even believe it, how this thing has come to life. And you all at this point know what the tagline is, I suspect you're about to know. And I suspect you are already doing this. And again, I just invite you to continue on our mission at the Pathways Learning Center in our district of helping Toastmasters members one at a time. Back to our presiding officer, Lori Anderson. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for your presentation tonight and for every month that you've given these Pathways presentations. I would just like to say before we, we go that we had the bingo card this year. People liked it. It's still active. I haven't ordered any prizes yet. So if you can be an, you know, a rock star like David Sheehorn, you can do your <laughs> do a blackout before next Monday before the store comes open. So you at least got the free space. You've just attended a Pathways Learning Lab, and uh, most of you attended TLI last. Um, well, you better have <laughs> TLI last weekend. Just teasing. All right, so there you go, and and I hope you enjoy that program. It was a lot of fun putting it on, and thanks again, everyone. So I guess this meeting is adjourned officially. We can stay on and talk for a few minutes.
And can I offer one more round of applause to our great team? They're often the unsung heroes, the presiding officer, chat moderator, room host, Lori Anderson, distinguished Toastmaster, and Ellen Eno, far in the background, Zoom master of our district extraordinaire. And of course, to all of you for being absolutely fabulous participants, the ones that presented, you're sharing, uh, just as an audience, I couldn't be more pleased and thankful. Thank you so much. Thank you.